Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm on the 10th fairway, or the end of the 10th fairway. Here's the green. Here's our beautiful little pond or lake. All sorts of ducks in here today. But today we're going to talk about these guys here. They're called Northern Shovelers. Spatula clypeata, or spatula clypeata if you want. It's a common widespread duck. There's probably more than 5 million of them worldwide. So in Europe, they breed in the north of Europe and they winter in the south of Europe. In America, the same, they breed in North America and they winter in the south. So ours here in Cota de Casa, they come from Colorado, Nevada, and Oregon. These guys are super quiet ducks and they keep evading me here and swim into the far end of the pond so it's kind of hard to get them. But even though they're pretty quiet, during courtship and mating season, the males do get kind of noisy and very aggressive. And they are about 19 inches long. They have a wingspan of 30 inches and they weigh about 1.3 pounds. So the oldest shoveler on record was 16 years, seven months old. He came from Nevada and he died in California. And these guys are dabbling ducks so they swim along the surface eating invertebrates, some plant materials, and they swim in circles, kind of like here, to churn up uh, the food and skim them through their giant bills. Now they got these long wide bills, they're shovel shaped, and they're used to filter out the mud and debris. And they get about 2.5 inches long, and that's how they get their name, uh, or their species spatula, or spatula, which means spoon in Latin. So their bill has small comb-like structures on the edges. They act like a colander or a sieve. They allow them to skim crustaceans and plankton from the water's surface. And they're dabbling ducks, of course. And this uh, behavior allows them to compete with other ducks for resources most of the year. And like most ducks, these guys are dimorphic which means the males and the females look different. And the male here, he's called the drake. He's got iridescent dark green head, white breast, chestnut belly, and flanks. When they fly, you can see his blue four-wing feathers separated by a white border and then a green speculum, which is really just a name for a green patch of feathers. And the female here, she's called a hen. She's drab, mottled brown, Looks a lot like a female mallard, except for the broad bill she uses to uh, sift for her food. And they nest, these shovelers, they nest in grassy areas away from open water. And the female will lay about nine eggs, and they're pretty generally successful at hatching. And finally, they're also very good to eat if you prepare them right. So their meat uh, has a bit of a muddy flavor but you can marinate it and then use it in stews or even fajitas. It's not as tasty as a mallard, probably the same as a ruddy duck, and a bit better than a golden eye. And these guys here, see how they're swimming around in circles there? And they're just churning up the water. And then they get the uh, water in their bills, and then they just sieve it out and get all the nutrients. And I can't determine if they like to swim clockwise or counterclockwise because I see them doing both the same. And this is a small batch of only, a, I don't know, half a dozen or so. But you'll find these in some lakes up in the hundreds just swimming around in big mass circles. It's a great visitor down here in Cota de Casa during winter time, and we're very happy to provide these guys a nice little home for the winter. And there you go. That's our uh, northern shoveler down in uh, Cota de Casa. So I hope you liked the video. Have a great day. Bye.